Uh, good morning everyone. Uh, last day of the Ridgeway, where I stayed last night, as normal, uh, leave no trace. The trail's just there, uh, I set up at quarter past eight as it was getting dark, uh, so it was absolutely fine staying here last night, just off Coombs Hill. So we're going to go through Wendover now, I'm hoping the garage is open, it's meant to be open at six, so I can, uh, it's quarter past six in the morning now, so I can get some water, and then we'll do the final push into uh, up to Ivanhoe Beacon. Okay then, let's get going, last day of the Ridgeway. Yeah, I'm just leaving the BP garage, but there's no need to come here. Because as you walk through Wendover, there's tons of places that are open from six for spot of breakfast and uh, pick up some supplies. There's a budgings there, but that PP's got a spa shop, and I need a USB lead. A USB lead, so I had to do the little detour. But we're getting back at it now. About four and a half miles in, after a few uh, cheeky climbs, we join the Ike Neild Way and we follow this really now, which is along there, um, and that should bring us basically the bottom of Tring pushing through. Um, but it was uh, quite, quite huge in these woods today, so a uh, bit of a sweat on, we've just come up this way. Alright then, let's keep going. Hello mate. <laughs> Little window. Walking through yet more forests. And I really want to be out of the forest because I need to get some light to the old solar charge of the little sun that we've got. Anyway, let's keep going. Reminds me walking like into a stately manor. Lovely. This is in Tring Wood. In the distance is a hill. If I'm not mistaken, that's Ivanhoe Beacon. For a couple of miles to go, yeah, about six miles, but finishing post is nigh. Just uh, a train station where I'll be coming back to later to get my train. So we'll just push past that and we'll continue on. Uh, we're in the last three mile now. And it's always on the start of these or the end of these walks. I just start to reflect on a few things. I'm gonna reflect now before we get to the, the hill. Um, first walk without mum and dad being alive. More dad really, because mum was very ill and dad was taken suddenly with Covid. But I've had him with me, his walking cap. I've had a few chats to him along the way. And uh, also I managed to raise a few pennies and hit my target for Ames Charity, which was uh, what it was all about really. I do these walks for, uh, for myself, for my own mental strength mental well-being say um, but I also do it to raise money for an old school friend uh, and a charity he runs for MS sufferers and he also suffers with MS 
him and his wife run the charity. So uh, in the last few miles, we'll get it done. Uh, then we'll get back to real life, as it were. And then we'll see what the next adventure brings. All right, Em. Hopefully, bring you back when we get up to uh, the monument or the trig point and maybe uh, there's anything on the way, I'll video that. All right then. There we have it guys, the Ridgeway complete. Uh, good walk, I enjoyed it. Tough, tough going in some places, uh, but like any time and you know after lockdowns it was good to get out. Um, super easy to navigate, super easy. Every junction had a signpost on it. So a good walk. Um, and I raised some money from a charity and I did a bit reflected about my parents, so it was good. So um Hope you enjoyed the videos. If you do, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, stay safe.